and welcome to my channel and happy new year how are you guys doing and how were your holidays please let me know on the comment section let's have a little chat over there as always I am delighted to have you tune in today and if you're watching the channel for the first time or you've recently joined this family hello and a warm welcome to you how about you go ahead and leave me a hello on the comment section so that I can personally uh, welcome you once again right before I say any more I must just take this time to apologize you guys because I have failed terribly at keeping up with your comments in the past few weeks over the holidays. I really was just extremely tired and I did not have the capacity to, to go through everyone's comments and engage and what I wanted to try and avoid was to just now answer a few and leave others. So please um, just... Um, pardon me on that one uh, but it is the new year it is a new week and I am committed to actively engaging with you um, like I always do right um it's the new year and I am getting back to work this week starting on the 17th which is yesterday because this video is out on Tuesday Right, but anyway, uh, I am going back to work this week and so I really just want to sort of now reset but mostly for the rest of this weekend because today is uh, Friday, the no, today is Saturday the 15th January and what I want to do this weekend really is to have a lot of rest and just also um, reset especially resetting my fridge i want to go back to healthy eating habits because you know just after the holidays been eating everything sleeping lazing around and uh, so i just did a bit of cleaning yesterday of the fridge and just taking out all the things that i know that i didn't want into the fridge and uh uh, so today I'm just going to just now pick up all my fruits and vegetables and everything that I'm going to need for the coming week. Because one thing about me, I don't know about you guys, I find that I eat much more healthier when I have planned my food for the week and everything is chopped and ready just to cook. I really love the convenience um, of, of planning and knowing what my week is going to look like in as much as I would for my work. I want to do that for food too because otherwise then I just get into the habits of just ordering a takeaway and whatnot um so yeah basically this um video is just really just to say hello I'm going to be doing a, a bit of resting this weekend in preparation for the working week ahead in fact the working year ahead and um yeah I just also like to hear if you guys are also back at work um, how has it been for the first week of work after the holiday, you guys? Because I'm not looking forward to that. I know I can be so lazy if I have sort of programmed my body to a specific routine. And you know, with the holidays, you eat, you sleep, you do this, you lazy around. And now having to <laughs> be productive, I imagine it's going to be very challenging. But nonetheless, you know, I am excited um, for the new year. I am grateful for life. Life, and I am looking forward to a very productive year ahead and also wish you guys a very productive year ahead so right now I think I'm just going to start um, 
with a fridge organization and i think that is pretty much going to be all about it in today's vlog i should see you guys tomorrow morning on sunday and even then i don't think i'll be doing a lot uh, but i hope you guys do understand i'm just slowly getting into the swing of things once again but i do hope that you are going to enjoy this video Alrighty guys, here is my food prep for the week. I have my vegetables all cut and ready for cooking throughout the week. And I've got um, my fruits for the week over here. Everything is already packed into the containers. And right now I am just going to close everything up and then proceed to organize the fridge with you guys. You guys must buy I now know that organizing my fridge is like the one of my favorite 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 thing to do in the house or in the kitchen and I find that it's quite therapeutic you guys should try it too and if you are new here I got um, all of these containers from Westpac a lifestyle a macro and home etc so if you are looking for anything like this you will most definitely be able to find them in the above mentioned um, stores otherwise I've also done previous organization videos where I tell you where each of the containers um, is from I will link those videos on the comment section for anybody who is watching this video or the channel rather for the first time and right now I'm pretty much done closing everything up I think now we are going to proceed to then organize our fridge And once again, if you're new on the channel, I made these labels myself using my Cricut Maker machine. And you can get a Cricut Maker machine for all sorts of crafts and projects from um, outlets like Take A Lot, PNA, and Incredible Connections. And also, for those who don't know, I am one of the Cricut ambassadors in Africa and the Middle East. All right, now going off the tangent a bit. Do you guys, can you guys realize why this is one of my favorite things to do? How is this not therapeutic, guys? Just look how beautiful. Food is so beautiful, you guys. And when you organize it like this, there's just no way that you or anybody you live with will not be eating healthy. I love organizing my fridge. right moving on i got these bottles from west pack uh, lifestyle stores each bottle was under 50 rands i think it was 44.99 45 rands right and i wanted them for my juice and milk and this is just purely for aesthetic purposes because i just feel like um a coordinated look always looks so 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 much better so if you're also into aesthetics or you like how this will look in the end, you can also go ahead and get yourself something like this or a similar. I am quite pleased, I must say. <music> how the finished look 
looks <laughs> tell me what you think also please help me decide should i go ahead and also label these bottles or should i leave them as they are please let me know in the comment section because i'm quite undecisive so right now i'm just gonna pick everything up and off into the fridge they go This is how our organized fridge looks this week. I am quite chuffed as always. I can never get used to this fridge looking this organized, you guys. This is my absolute, absolute favorite thing to do. Actually, actually, I wouldn't mind doing this for a living. I absolutely enjoy organizing the fridge. Right, that was so fun to do. Right now, I think I'm just going to clean up over here. And uh, I think I'll just go ahead and call it a day today, you guys. I really do not want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be toiling and laboring, really. So I'm just going to clean up the counters where we were working. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a nice little um, floral arrangement I got at Food Lovers earlier on the week. You guys will love it, I think. And here's our girl. How pretty is this, you guys? I'm not a person that often likes to mix pink and red. But oh, and this is a little old a rose over there, but don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm not a person that likes to mix pink and red. But when I saw this arrangement, I absolutely fell in love. I thought it was so pretty, and I just knew immediately that I wanted to have it over my counter for the week. And uh, oh yeah, no, I'm just showing you how that looks. But anyway, uh yeah, I, I knew I just really have to have it on my counter for the week. I really, really love the bright popping pinks and red and just also that it's not a color combination that i would under normal circumstances go for but for some reason i really really loved it tell me what you think
everybody um today is a sunday the 16th i will not be going to attend the physical church this morning but i woke up very early to just you know wash my face and just fix something small to eat while i attend the online service so um and then just going to do that and a little bit later on I'm going to make lunch. I really do. I still feel a bit exhausted. Mainly because I think it was just because of my period. But anyway, um, don't know. That's what I want to get to. I don't know if I will be vlogging that. I hope to vlog it. Um, even if it's just like bits and pieces. Uh, not too hopeful though. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, but right now, um, did my bad, I'm just going to then, um, make something small to eat, and then I'm going to sit on bed and attend the church service online, and, yeah, proceed to then, um, make lunch, Oof, and I must, now today, I have to take the car for a wash, because I have a meeting tomorrow. So, yep, I'm just going to show you guys what I'll be having. I will not show you the whole thing because, guys, I, now I'm tired. I'm tired. And um, I had been meaning to vlog the whole week, but I just couldn't. I really couldn't. <laughs> and the only thing that really just pushed me is because I committed myself to start publishing um, this coming Tuesday. But otherwise, if it weren't for that commitment, I think I would have still wanted to push one more week of rest. Um, but you know what? Um, we are mid-January now. And uh, in any case, I'm supposed to sort of resume everything um, this coming week so I might as well just start doing it anyway um enough talking let me show you what I made um to enjoy while I attend uh, church online righty guys um so this is what I've made uh, to have while I attend church it's just a little cup of milo I've got mango juice and I've got a muffin and I got a strawberry and some blueberry. I really don't want to have a lot because I often have lunch very early on Sundays. I have lunch normally between half past 11 and 12. So that's just going to be in a short while. And yeah. Oh, I got this wicker tray from Mr. Price on for I think 249 And I absolutely love it, especially for outdoor serving. And don't want to be alone You never were a good liar So why the hell would you try to Hey guys, I am now at the car Oh, the washing I hope you guys can hear me But anyway, I'm at the car wash I have already finished cooking It's now 10 past 11 Ooh. It's 10 past 11 And uh I cooked I attended church I thought after that online service because I attended at 8 I thought I was gonna take a nap but I thought you know let me just wake up and then do everything that needs to be done and after everything then I can then take my nap so right now I'm just going to get the car wash I've also made myself another cup of robots because I love my robots I also have a hot water bottle for my therapy. And here's my hot water bottle over here. This thing is so, so, so old. But anyway, I thought I should just fill it up and have it over here while I wait for the car to wash. <laughs> okay, let's just get the car wash and we'll take a bit later. Mm, you guys, I couldn't vlog when I came back. I really just wanted to rest with my period pain. Right now, it's late afternoon. And I just want to soak in a bath. And then I'm going to fix a snack and sit and watch something on TV. Miss, can I get 
your name and last name ain't pain but i'll buy you a drink get high hit the hanky pank i got a couple pesos sitting in my bank and all night we've been hitting the town putting drinks up for everyone who put us down pour a little more bourbon now i turn heads when i'm swerving now 40 hours on my john deere 40 hours on my john deere they can tell i ain't from around here they can tell i ain't from around I can hit the two-step better than the rest Call me Lil' Hank Bandana around my neck Four Giados on my John Deere They can tell I ain't from round here Riding on a tractor, trying to attract her She's a country girl trying to get her masters She got a man, but he really Alrighty, you guys, here's my snack. I am now just going to sit down, relax, enjoy, and watch something on TV before I go to bed. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog, and thank you so much for tuning in and coming back once again this year. Like I said, I wish you guys a very, very productive year, and so. Here is a little cheers for you and I to a beautiful, blessed and productive year ahead. Hey miss, can I get your name? My last name ain't pain, but I'll buy you a drink. Get high, hit the hanky pank. I got a couple pesos sitting in my bank. And all night we've been hitting the town Putting drinks up for everyone who put us down Pour a little more bourbon now I turn heads when I'm swerving now Forty hours on my John Deere Forty hours on my John Deere They can tell I ain't from round here They can tell I ain't from round here But I can hit the two-step better than the rest Call me Lil' Hank